Hey there, I thought it would be a great idea to just give a general overview of what Beeline is, how to use it in PHP Storm, and how it can save you a ton of time generating Magento-based code. Uh, so if you have a few minutes, uh, it's only about 10 minutes, uh, I made a quick video that covers how to use keywords and just how Beeline works. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much. Now that you have PHP Storm set up, let's go over how to use it. So if you go to the main uh, sales page here and scroll down, you will see a list of all of the keywords available in Beeline. At the time of this video, there are 96 templates and I'm trying to add more all the time. All these keywords generally begin with M2 with the exception of these knockout HTML keywords, which start with a bracket. So just remember that the knockout HTML templates start with a bracket just like HTML does. Next to each keyword is a description of what the keyword actually generates. For example, the M2KO for each region tag generates a for each region code. The names generally follow what they create. If the keyword generates a nested code block, you will see an arrow syntax which tells you that the subsequent part is a child of the parent. We can look at more examples of this if we scroll down and go to the XML keywords, and we will see that certain tags generate tons of code, especially the XML keywords. Beeline is heavily biased to XML files since this is the majority of typing that is done in Magento. What's neat about this is that if the keyword is applicable only to a specific file, it will actually tell you what file you can use it in or what file it is commonly used in. For example, this M2 DB schema table column bool generates a Boolean column, and we can see that it just generates a column node. For the M2 DB schema table keyword, this goes in the db underscore schema.xml file, and this will generate a table with two columns, a constraint, and a column under that constraint. You'll get familiar with this syntax as you use Beeline. You can check out all of the keywords and everything it generates. And if we scroll up to the PHP file, it will tell you in the notes of where exactly to use this keyword. Now you just can't go ahead and use these keywords wherever you wish. Some files are very dependent on the location of where it is used. For example, M2 controller expects the file to be located at controller index, index.php, or any name following that format. For example, controller foo bar.php. But if you use that keyword in a non-standard location, for example, controller slash foo slash bar slash baz, .php, Beeline will not really know what to do. Let's go ahead and check these out in practice in PHP Storm. Now I'm going to use Beeline to go ahead and create a new module, and I'll name this Mark Schust slash my foo. And the first file I'll create in this module will be registration.php. And this is a file we create in every single module, so it's very tedious to create and remember what it exactly is. So now we can use a Beeline keyword instead to generate this file. Normally you could just start typing the keyword, such as M2 registration, but notice how it's not auto-completing. That's because this is a PHP file. PHP files are an exception. In order to use a keyword in a PHP file, we always need to start with a PHP tag. Then if we enter a space, now we can type the keyword. So I will just start typing M2 registration and we can see it is auto-completing. I can just hit enter or tab and the file is created. Again, this registration.php file just can't be created anywhere. It's expected to be in this specific location in a module root. This is how it generates and creates the name of the module. So that's it, we can save this file and this file is all done. Let's look at an ex another example, which is the etsy slash module.xml file. In this file, we can just start typing m2module, hit enter, and it's done. 
Note how the cursor is in a specific location. That's so you can enter any subsequent info directly after it if you wish. If not, just go ahead and tab out and you'll go to the end of the file. And this file is all created. Let's take a look at another generation, which is db underscore schema dot XML. If we just start typing m2 db schema, we will see that we also get those notes directly within PHP Storm, so we know exactly where this keyword can be used and what nodes it is generating. If I just now type enter, that entire file is generated. This will generate a complete table of the schema in Magento. Note how the table name is prefixed with my vendor name, module name, Mark Schust underscore my foo. And then a placeholder text is inserted called widget. At this point, I can type whatever I want and widget will be replaced with what I type. For example, bar will replace widget. Note how the comment on the table actually adds in bars. This is really neat and Beeline tries to do this wherever it can. This is usually in places where data is repeated across the file. Now be sure not to click out of this cursor, just tap tab and you will go to the next spot that you can name. Note how it bypasses the ID column because that's pretty standard across all MySQL tables. And it stops on this column name so we can name this whatever we wish. Let's name this memo. And you can see it also replaced the comment named with memo. Now, if I tap tab again, it will go to the end of the file. And that means this DB schema generation is about complete. But let's say we wanted to add additional columns to this table. We can put our cursor after this column, tap enter, and then just start typing M2 column. And note how this column keyword is prefixed with DB schema table. This prefix helps you determine exactly where this keyword can be used, which is DB schema, and within what parent, for example, table in this case. We can go ahead and create a new text field, tap enter, and that new column is generated for you. And we can keep this as name. Let's go ahead and use another column, and this time it will be date time. This is an extended column, and this has multiple attributes that we may wish to change. Let's change created at to published at. Notice how the comment is auto-generated for us. I'm going to tap tab, and I'm sent to the next attribute value that I may wish to change. If I don't wanna change it, I can just tap tab again. I always want the publish at to be the current time step, so I will go ahead and tab over this as well. And let's say I wanted on update to be false, so it's not updated when the record is updated, I could just start typing false. And then when I tap tab again, I'm sent to the end of the column. Hopefully you understand how most of this works now. Let's take a look at one other example, and that's a controller class. So let's go ahead and create a file at controller slash bar slash baz dot PHP. And remember, I have to open a PHP tag. Now I can just start typing M2 controller. And note that this has a few options. We can create a standard controller, or we can create an admin controller or a JSON controller. Let's select JSON and hit enter. And look, it generates the entire file for you, including the JSON factory property, and then stubs out an example of data that is returned as JSON. Hopefully this is enough to get you going and get you started to use Beeline. If you did wanna reference the keywords, again, you can check that main sales page, and you can also go up to PHP Storm settings, go to editor, and go to live templates and they are all available for you here. If you wish to change one of these templates, you can actually click it and go ahead and change it, but I'd very much recommend duplicating these out into your own keywords. For example, M2 Composer Module Mine, just so your updates aren't conflicting or ever overridden if Beeline ever updates or PHP Storm pulls down the file templates.
Editing these keywords goes a bit beyond the scope of this video, but note that there are specific variables that are pulled in and you can also click edit variables to be able to edit any of these values. If you have any neat ideas or new keywords that you wish to contribute back, feel free to create a pull request on the GitHub repo and we can definitely work with getting these in there. Thanks so much. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in a comment below. And the best of luck to you with using Beeline.